Let the story begin. Song of the River by Joy Cowley, illustrated by Kimberly Andrews. Yeah, let's start. Song of the River. Cam the mountain boy said to his grandfather, I wish I could see the sea. One day we will go there, said his grandfather. One spring morning, Cam was playing by his house. He watched a trickle of water running through the pine tree. The water splashed and sang in the voice of Cam. Oh, what a cat. I think it might be a deer. Come with me, come with me. I will take you to the sea. Cam followed the trickle of water in and out of the trees. It joined the other trickles and became a creek. Are you going to the sea, Cam asked. The creek laughed down the mountainside and chattered over stones. It sang in the voice of a waterfall. Yes, yes, come with me. I will take you to the sea. The creek met another creek and became a rushing stream which combed the hair of reeds and ferns and hid a thousand little fishes between, behind, oh, between its banks. It sang to Cam in the voice of leaping trout. Come with me, come with me, and Cam shouted in reply, we are going to the sea. Near the bottom of the mountain, the stream became a river. It flowed through farms where ducks swam and cows drank and dogs barked, and a farmer took his cream to the town in a small boat. Cam said to the river, you haven't changed your mind, have you? The river sang in the voice of green and gold frogs. We will go, you and me. I will take you to the sea. Where are the frogs? Oh, they're, they're, they're. Can you see them? It's a frog. Oh, a little frog. Oh, good one. The river drank in other rivers and became wider, deeper. It went under bridges and alongside roads and railway tracks. Uh, Is that uh, little Cam? Is he waving? Uh, Can you wave like him? With both hands waving. He's waving to the boat. It went under bridges and alongside roads and railway tracks. It carried a paddle boat full of people on a picnic. And all the time it sang of the sea in the voice of big brass engines soaked in oil. Can you see any sheep, Nova? Where are the sheep? Bah. Or any birds flying in the sky? Oh, good after a while, the river became so wide that Cam could barely see the other side. The near bank was fenced with factories and wharves with ropes and cranes like sky ladders and tall ships and small ships and rusty barges and trusty tugboats. Can you see Cam? Can you spot Cam? Tiny little, little Cam? Oh, she's got him. Good work. Ooh, what's going to happen next? There was so much noise that Cam could no longer hear the song of the river. He sighed and sat down. You're too busy to go anywhere, he said. Then the river began to sing in a new, loud voice. The voice of salty wind and crying birds in deep secret places where whales swam with their young. Come with me, the river called. Oh, Cam got up and ran past the wharves along the road and over some sand dunes. Where's he going? Yeah. In front of him was the sea. It was wild and blue and beautiful, and it went on forever. Isn't that nice? Can you see the birds? They're there. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five little ones. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five little ones. And Cam? Where's Cam? Yeah. Oh, is he standing over there? It's oh, just a little Cam. Yeah. Cam ran down the beach and splashed his feet in the waves as they ran up the sand. The sea sang him a song about salty wind and crying birds. Can you see the birds? And deep secret places where whales give birth to their young. Oh, a whale! And wharves with cranes and ships with cargoes and big brass engines and green and gold frogs and leaping trout in a waterfall. And yes, in a faint whisper, it sang of 
snow. 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 Oh, it's Cam back. When Cam went home to the mountain, he said to his grandfather, I saw the sea. One day we will go there, said his grandfather. Can you see the little lights on? Where are the lights? Doo, doo, doo. It's nighttime. The stars are out. That night, Cam went out under the stars. He cupped his hands in the trickle of water. Why didn't you tell me you were the beginning of the sea, he asked. Can you spot the owl, Nova? Where's the white owl? The end.